Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Pisceans and it's for right now, my dear Pisces. Everything you need to know right now. And there will be many of these done over the weeks. Always search for the one that, that that's on this. They don't have a time, so there is no time. Just the one that you choose, whichever Pisces you choose. So there will be one every week or every two weeks being done. It's called Pisces right now. So let's see what are the most important factors for you all to know. My dear Pisces, starting with, I've already meditated on your cards and planned everything and um, put all my intentions in there for you to know what is happening right now. Before I take the cards out, I'd like to start with these two messages for you. If you have a question and you want to put it right, right down to make it really personal and specify it, you can just choose any of these and just put your intention there. They are for all Pisceans, but like I said, you can make it your own while I shuffle this deck. Two messages for right now, and the first one has just opened up, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave this talk about it in a moment. So we'll start with these two first. The first one says the bridge. Okay, a bridge is about connections. Well, I'll just see what the tea leaf says. It says successfully overcoming a problem. Successfully overcoming a problem. So there is going to be success in you overcoming one problem that you're having right now. And the other one is the wind chime, which is peace and harmony. How beautiful! Peace and harmony. A wind chime. Beautiful. All right, that's great. Now, the other message that just came, spiritual uh, guiding of autumn, this is all about letting go. Letting go of what no longer serves you. Letting go and not holding on to things. Transcending to high levels. Changes are happening to get you to let go of something. Letting go of no, what no longer works and resolving a problem. Peace and harmony. Beautiful. The other message for all Pisceans, for right now, stability. For those of you who are questioning what's going to happen, there's stability coming in your life. You are going to find stability. There's earth energy here very strong. There could be someone of earth energy giving you stability. Uh, earth energies are usually Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And I see a lot of changes and a lot of success and a new beginning coming and giving you all the stability you want. So letting go and stability. Beautiful. Let's have a look at two more messages for all Pisceans right now. Now the Emperor keeps wanting to come out. <laughs> when I was shuffling, but it hasn't yet. Two important messages for all Pisces for right now. Let's see if it's Emperor, one of them. No. Okay, so we've got uh, the Nine of Swords, and we've got the Seven of um, Swords, uh, two. Both are swords. Uh, I just wonder, this one, is it the Nine of Swords? Or no, it isn't. This is, I think, this is the Hermit. This is the Hermit. It is connected to Virgo. Virgo is an earth energy, so there could be a Virgo in your life or someone that has a little bit of Virgo. But the Hermit is about searching for the truth. It's like you're questioning things and wondering, you know, what the truth is and what should I do? And, you know, where am I heading? What's happening next? There's a lot of that happening here. Insults with one um, time out. And the seven, of, um, the seven of Swords is about... You know, it does say deception and envy, but it doesn't necessarily mean deception and envy. What it does mean, the Seven of Swords, it means that there is a situation where you are procrastinating, you want to leave so that you don't deceive someone, and you are reluctant. Um, maybe you're envious of other people's situations. You're not quite happy where you are. Maybe you're feeling as though there could be deception and I don't want to deceive this person. I should let them go. There is that kind of a uh, situation with the Seven of Swords. Wanting to go, but you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to hurt your own feelings at the same time. But you don't know if you can be like all there for them. Maybe you're not on the same level. There's all that concept of wondering and thinking. So there is a lot of that. Let's take some more tarot cards and see what else. Well, the Two of Wands has come up. Now the Two of Wands shows that you are thinking of leaving leaving where you are, considering it, just like the Seven of Swords. Let's have a look at a few more cards. Oh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, someone of Earth energy. Uh, maybe you're busy at work, working a lot, but there could be someone that you might be having some issues with because it did come up sort of on the side. Earth energy, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe you're considering your position with someone. You're not quite happy. Let's have a look at two more messages for all Pisces for right now. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. You are dealing with someone, Earth energy. They've got a lot of Virgo in them. We've got the Virgo card. Second, it could be Taurus or it could be Capricorn. 
Um, I feel like someone that's quite hard worker, someone who works hard and has a lot of money. They're very kind and considerate, but sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn, perhaps. The Four of Souls, it shows that you're resting. And you know what? The Wind Chime said that. There is peace and harmony, and the Four of Souls, sh Four of Souls shows the end of a battle, and you're finally resting from a big battle that you kept on at it, and there was just so much. Now it's taking time out and healing, healing from a situation that was overwhelming, or was just too much, or working hard, perhaps. That's finally over. So that's great. Excellent. That, that is wonderful. Let's have a look at two more messages from another deck for all Pisceans to know right now. One, and we need one more. Okay, there's the other one. So, we got coins and we got the cup, the golden cup. Let's talk about coins. Coins is about money coming in. So, there's going to be a lot of wealth destined for you. Money coming in and wealth, as you can see. It looks like there's good investments also. A good investment that's going to do well. There could be careers in finance or sales. Um, getting a raise or being quite lucky. So getting a raise and lucky, but most of all money is coming in and wealth. So being lucky and wealth, there could be a big money situation coming your way. Now the cup is overflowing prosperity. So prosperity is going to be all over the place. You'll have abundance of prosperity. Whether your, uh, the accounts are full or empty, you are going to be so prosperous. Um, I do feel like careers and nurturing you might be considering. Uh, taking care of business, some of you wanting to do your own business and being quite fulfilled with the golden cup. So fulfillment. That's beautiful too. I'll put that one here. Okay. Now that we've established this, I just want to take some more. Um, let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do three more. Three more messages from this deck and see what all Pisces need to know right now. So we've got the Ten of Wealth and we have the sun shining in your path. That is incredible. That is incredible. With all the coins that they're talking about here, a lot of wealth. And then you've got the sun and the ten of pentacles. This shows a lot of wealth, a lot of money is coming in. And it's starting now because this reading is for right now. The process has already ignited. It's starting and it's on its way to you. So um, the ten of pentacles, finally, oh my God, a major rise in your money. A dramatic rise in your money. Have a look at that. Isn't that incredible? Money, money, wealth. And th this is money, a rise in money and investment paying off, uh, investing in property. This is wealth and this is wealth. Money coming in and wealth. How incredible. And then of course you will have stability. That will explain stability, explains the sun shining in your path. It does explain the overflowing prosperity that is destined for you. There is a lot of money coming. So they're talking a lot about money, but they're also talking about your stability and letting go of something that is um, causing you unhappiness or you may be feeling unstable. So money and um, finally resting, going on holidays, having peace, nothing bothering you anymore. Okay, I just wanted to get one or two cards from here for all Pisces to know right now what you need to know. And it says unknown territory. There may be a situation where you're, you know, you might be now in a situation with the hermit questioning, am I in the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Is this where I'm supposed to be? It says you may be feeling uh, that you are an, in unknown territory, but you are exactly where you're supposed to be, exactly where you need to be. You are exactly where you need to be. And that's an answer for you if you're questioning where you are. Now, fogged in means that you are in a limbo, not sure where to go. It says slow down, take your time, then slowly, maybe breathing and a little bit of uh, meditation. You'll get to know that where you're heading and how everything is going to be wonderful for you. We're going to take two more messages from this deck for all Pisceans right now. So we've got one and the other one just came out like that. Um, let's have a look at them now for these. I need my glasses. Bear with me, my dear Pisces. Hope you're enjoying this reading. It's for right now. Okay, summer. Now this is about weight. Things will unfold. So they're saying weight. You know how they just told you now that you're fogged in and you're not sure where you're at, but you are on the right path. So that for you to know exactly where you're at and where you're heading, it says just wait a little bit and you will see that um, things will unfold. Things will unfold for you. It also says major opportunities are coming. It also says, um, um, it says that um, celebrating the light. You, got, you are going to have a lot of growth. You are going to be going through uh, some sort of, uh, with the Four of Swords, 
some sort of relaxation, maybe uh, taking time out, going on a holiday, a short trip. Um, but you are, you are going to get to relax. You are going to get to get the right to relax. You'll have so much overflowing abundance to be able to do that. There's expansion, um, building your strength and being very positive. This is the time and major opportunities are coming on your way, especially in summer. For those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere, and for those of you who are Northern Hemisphere, you are, I think, still in summer now. So that's happening right now. Now, in regard to the ladybug, the ladybug is about abundance and jackpots and winning a lot of money. That's what this is all about. Uh, it's about an abundant, okay, so according to this card, it's about abundant life, uh, um, happy life, comfort, leisure, wishes are coming true. Wishes come true with the ladybug. It is also um, about good health, balance, and birth of a daughter. Wow, birth of a daughter. Now, another thing here, it could be connected Chinese Year of the Tiger. The letter A here, very strong. And also it could be um, dealing with timing, three days to three weeks from now. So prepare for that. That's glorious. Okay. Uh, finally, there is two more messages. I'll just have a look at them. We're going to take two cards from here for all Pisceans for right now. What you need to know, Pisces, right now. We've got one and we need one more. Okay, there's the other one that has just opened up. Okay, let's have a look at that. Right, glasses on. And we've got the first one. It says, I'm, okay, it says, I am seeing synchronicities like your name or 1111. For those of you who've been seeing 1111 and working out what they mean. This is about direction. It's about um, where you're heading. And I'd say from now to 11, 11 days perhaps, or I feel like November, something big is going to be with the direction of where you're heading uh, in regard to a situation. If you're, you know, it depends who you're seeing 11-11 about or who you're seeing signs about their name or dreams about their names or them, um, there will be answers in November. This is also connected to people that have Sagittarius in them and Scorpio. This is connected to 11 days from now and Chinese year of the dog. Um, over here it says the planets are activating us to heal and bringing us closer together. Surrender to the changes. This is happening right now. Within October, major changes you will see. Ten days from now, Chinese year of the rooster and people that have Libra or Scorpio in them. Very interesting. Okay, now finally, I'll just do one more deck. Just one more. See if there's anything else that you need to know. All five scenes right now. Two messages. Okay, so one has opened up. And there's the other one. Right, it says trust the situation. Um, express your love now. Express your feelings to, to whoever you are dealing with now, whoever you are uh, involved with. Express your love. Express your feelings. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Maybe you are having already some gestures there, but make the romantic gestures. This person loves romance. They're very sentimental, whoever you're dealing with. Now, the other one says, this could be the one. You could be with the one and not even knowing it. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You're already with them. This could be the one. Even if you might not think is the one, is going to be the one. So make the romantic gestures. Go ahead. Don't let anything stand in your way. And finally, what I'm going to do is find out what the Chinese cookies want to tell you. What's the message for all Pisceans for right now? And there it is. Okay, let's have a look quickly. And it says opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dressed. To impress i was going to say dress to kill but <laughs> dress to impress an important offer will be made so prepare yourself this is magnificent remember there is expressions um, of love there is letting go of what's not working there's a lot of money happening here harmony peace letting go stability coming and successfully overcoming a problem all of that and dealing with someone of earth energy very strong i wish you enjoyed this reading i hope you enjoy, uh, i hope you um let me know what you think by giving me a thumbs up, perhaps, or even commenting. It'll be great, whatever you, um, uh, however you let me know what you think of it. I do wish you a lot of blessings and abundance of um, love and light to all of you. Namaste.